Alrighty, hey guys. We got going about 8.30 this morning out of Inaminka. Um, the weather is appearing a little bit better than they thought. The chance of that uh, 40 mil rain at about 90% has come back to about a 30% chance of, uh, of under 10 mil. So maybe I, I jumped the gun coming back, but you know, you gotta take the chance. And if I'd stayed out there, odds on it would have rained and I wouldn't have got back here. But anyway, I made my way out to the dig tree um, for a bit of a look around. Now, um, this is what's out here. These are the, uh, the trees with the markings on them and the signs and the, the signs explaining what's going on. Um, now, back uh, last time I was out here in, in 96 and 97, I forget which year it was exactly. My old man likes to remind me that all that racking, all the, all the, uh, the walkway was out here on pallets. So, it's been there for a while, that walkway. Um, but yeah, it was on pallets and uh, none of this flash stuff was out here. So, times have changed a bit, but uh, you know, it's worth the look. There's a 14k drive in off of the road. Um, it's pretty corrugated, it's a bit rough, but well worth the drive in for a look, for a bit of history. You're in the area, you might as well come have a look. Anyway, I better make a mile. I've got a bit of driving to do today. Um, if anything interesting comes up, I'll have a chat. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm only about 75k's out of Inaminka, and that over there is one hell of a storm going on. Camera doesn't pick it up real great, but it's definitely raining. Um, just on the way out from the dig tree, I've got spots on the windscreen, not a lot there, and uh, there's definitely a fair bit of rain getting around, so. They, they may have revised it and said there's going to be less rain in Inaminka, but imagine if something like that hits straight over the top um, over the top of that Cordillo Downs Road or or any of those dirt roads up there, you'd, um, you'd be in for a world of hurt because that looks like it's dumping a fair bit of water over there and uh, yeah these roads go to, go to shit pretty quick. Anyway, I'm pretty glad now that I've um, made the decision that I have I'm on bitumen so it's it's pretty safe from here that I, I'm gonna get all the way home I just got to get across the Cooper Plains or Cooper Creek flood plains um, the water hasn't come down that far from from the rain up at Winton and Longreach yet um, but I did see I did see this morning that the, uh, the floodway at Cloncurry is back underwater again on the bypaving vehicle bypass so the water's coming up again. So yeah, pretty glad I got out of here when I did. Alrighty guys, I've just stopped for a little break and I'm, uh, I've made it to the Cooper Creek flood area again. And I'm just gonna spin you around and show you what's happened since I crossed here. On... Now this was barely a puddle in here when I crossed on Saturday. So um, all that flood water's coming down, eh? And uh, at the moment, she's still a little way under the under the bridge. Sort of hop over here and we can get a bit of a look, just so we can see how far actually under the bridge it is. Yeah, it is a way under yet, so. She's got a fair, fair way to come up yet before it'd be on the roadway, another couple of meters. But if that water keeps coming down and there's more up there, um, this might flood yet, so who knows? Probably, probably a good thing I'm getting out of here while I am. It's pretty cool to see though. Well, that about sums it up, guys. I know it's I'm probably 200 k's from Inaminka, but this was happening over there. I'm I'm glad I'm here and not there. But anyway. Even if it doesn't rain over there, and if it does, I, I hope everyone who's over there can, can complete their trips that they've got planned or, or make a plan B or they, you know, they're happy to sit. And there's worse places to sit than in an Inminka or at, at the Birdsville Hotel. Um, I just hope that no one else, like last time, gets trapped on, on the Stresleggy. Last time there was about 80, 80 people got caught down there in, in different spots, so here's hoping uh, no one gets caught out and that uh, everyone gets to where they're trying to get to safely. Anyway, I'm going to poke along, 
do a little bit to Thargaminda and I'll, uh, I'll probably stop and have lunch in Thargaminda and then keep going. Right here, there we go. Well guys, not really a lot to report on. I mean, uh, I'm nearly in uh, Katamala and it's been raining uh, steadily since I left Thargaminda. Um, so obviously towards the coast it's raining more than out west. That said, I still, um, still think it's probably going to get a bit damp out there. And, I don't know if there'll be any road closures or not, but yeah, you know, I'm just happy to head headed towards home to be honest, and uh, probably push through, hoping to get to about Nindigully, you know, might just uh, do an outback pub tour on the way home. Stop at the Nakundra Hotel, hoping to get lunch, and um, unfortunately um, wasn't able to. There was uh, 350 cars that come through as part of the shitbox uh, car rally. Um, so yeah, they pretty much cleaned the pub out. Um, but managed to sneak a beer and um, keep on the way. But yeah, there's been a lot of water around, a lot of water around out here. The roads are wet, the paddocks are wet, and there's been uh, multiple crossings that have been at least 100 mil, if not deep, uh, with water coming over the road. So they're probably gonna, only going to get deeper if it keeps raining, I guess. So anyway, I'll put you down. I've got to get into Kanamala and get some fuel and, uh, and keep on keep on driving. Rightio guys, well I'm home safe and sound, back from uh, Inaminka this morning after a night at the Nindigully pub last night and uh, yeah she's a pretty wild one and uh, we'll show you the carnage from the trip home for anyone who says oh you bailed out early, the rain didn't come well, it rained out there today and they um, they shut the Cordillo Downs road that I came down um, the other night so yeah. I might not have been able to get back from Birdsville. So this is what the bike and the car look like after the trip, huh? She's pretty filthy. The old bike's covered in mud. Coming down this side of the car here. She just got peppered with mud. And uh, the road home's bitumen, guys. So uh, the fact that the car's covered in mud sort of, you know, that was just dropping a wheel every now and then to um, let passing cars go by. And it's... Uh, it's got that dirty, so yeah, she's a pretty good trip, all in all. Um, disappointed I didn't get out to Popples, but happy to have gone out in the desert just the same. And I learned a lot from it, so uh, for me, yeah, that that's invaluable. Next time I'm out there, I'll know things I've got to change and and the setup that didn't work. But all in all, pretty happy with it. Really happy with the way the bike went. A few a few dramas with flat tires and stuff like that, but you know. That's adventure riding. Yeah, you just you got to roll with the punches and take what comes at you. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the end of this adventure. And um, uh, if anyone's got any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, till the next one, guys. Catches.